This World War II veteran has been holding on to this letter for 12 years. He doesn't know that he's about to meet the little girl, now all grown up, who wrote it. So, what do you say? They're going to send somebody here to question you on this letter that you wrote. I'm the girl that wrote the letter. Yeah. So they want more information. So here she is. Hello. Uh, you're not the girl. Turns out she hung on to the letter she received from him, too. Don't make me cry, please. So, Frank, this is Deshauna Priest. You wrote me that. Is that the one I wrote back? Oh, you kept it. Oh, boy, I hung you. Listen, is it this? Yes. Yes. the girl, is it? Yes. yes. Sure. Honest to God. Oh, I love you so much. Yes. Deshauna was nine years old when she got the school assignment to write a letter to a service member. I said, thank you for your sacrifices. Thank you for saving us from Hitler. And if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't have freedom. <laughs> Deeply moved by the letter, Frank Grassberger and his wife Dee wrote back to Deshauna. I actually was the first one in the whole class to get my letter back. And they read my letter to the class, and then I took it home, and my mom suggested that I put it away in my memory box. Frank held on to his letter, too, and shared the story with the staff at his assisted living facility. I'm very proud of this, and I hope to show it to other people. <laughs> the staff tracked down Deshauna, who had just recently reread Frank's old letter. I cried. I ran in my mom's room. I didn't even know my mom was awake, but I ran in my mom's room and I was like, mom, oh my God, I just showed you the letter that he had wrote me and now she's writing me telling me that she wants to set up something. <laughs> I was speechless because I, I didn't know that anybody could just hold the letter so near and dear to them. I just, I just didn't know. Unless like, it was like my mom, my mom holds stuff like that. So. <laughs> <laughs> a meeting was arranged to surprise Frank, but he wasn't the only one who got a surprise. So when I first got there, I got there in my uniform and nobody knew that I was in the military. <laughs> so I just showed up in uniform and they were all like, are you, are you the girl that wrote the letter? I was like, yeah. He didn't think I was really the girl at first. And then I had showed him my letter and then I started crying, he started crying. <laughs> Everybody started crying. <laughs> Frank and his wife had tried to connect with Deshauna for more than a decade and finally got their chance. Did you ever think it would happen? No. I didn't. How <laughs> do you? You don't know how long I, I pray every night with this thing. I really do. I feel so special. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't worry about it, Ben. I feel the same way. <laughs> this is, this is a, I, I'm not telling you, this is a godsend. It really is. Now in the military herself, Deshauna hopes the next generation keeps writing letters. It really means a lot just to uh, see that somewhat, somebody appreciates us and what we do for the country. So if you ever want to write somebody, <laughs> I think you should, because uh, there's no telling how long they haven't, they've been like without talking to their families or anything like that. So if you feel like you should write somebody or you want to just extend the extra, hey, I care about you, you should. Don't think I'm a softer, you. <laughs>